What's good and welcome back to Investing with Jack. So if you get any value out of this video, please smash that like button, subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new. And if you'd like to stay up to date with each and every play we talk about on this channel, join the Discord. It's currently free for the first 1,000 members. So today we're gonna to be talking about an EV company that is going to change the game in this sector. They are well diversified and have recently acquired another company to add to their portfolio. So the company name is IDenomics, ticker symbol IDEX. They currently have a market cap of 1.2 billion. So quick little overview of the company. IDenomics is a global company that facilitates the adoption and commercial electric vehicle of commercial electric vehicles and supports next generation financial services and fintech products. Our electric vehicle division, Mobile Energy Global, provides group purchasing discounts on commercial electric vehicles, EV batteries and electricity, as well as financing and charging solutions. So we are gonna go over this company's portfolio, some of their direct investments, as well as partially and wholly owned companies. We're just gonna go over a few of them as they do have quite a bit. I will throw it up on the screen. So they have Energica, which they just recently acquired a 20% stake in the company. And this is the world's leading, where am I on the page? <laughs> the world's leading manufacturer of high performance electric motorcycles. So they also have Soli Track, which is the first North American company to offer 100% battery powered all electric tractors for art for egg you call for agriculture and utility applications they also have tree tree electric the first company to bring a true electric bike to malaysia tree electric provides a transportation option that is clean safe and affordable with advanced technology ev innovations and minimal maintenance Treely Trek's parent company, Tree Manufacturing, is the only licensed EV manufacturer in Malaysia. So important things to always remember with these companies is whenever you hear first or whenever you hear leading. So they have Soli Track, which is the first North American company for electric tractors. And they also have Tree Electric, which is the only licensed EV manufacturer in Malaysia. Uh, their parent company tree manufacturing all right guys so these are major things to remember with these companies whenever it's first of its kind whenever it's leading in the sector these are all very bullish shines for the company and they also have wave and wave is the premier developer of inductive charging solutions for medium and heavy duty vehicles in the united states it has demonstrated the capability to develop and integrate high power charging systems onto heavy, du heavy duty electric vehicles. Now this wave technology is revolutionary and is definitely going to change the game going forward for how electric vehicles are charged. And I wanted to show you guys a short little clip from the video, a bit of a presentation of what this power square i'm going to call it can do um, and i'm sure it's going to lift your eyebrows so check it out change our fleet out from a, a full fleet of 75 diesel buses to what will now grow to 80 electric buses as far as maintenance goes there's no moving parts so there's there's nothing for us to do we do a quick inspection of the charge plate we run it over a charger if it transfers energy there's nothing else for us to do the battery management on the bus takes over from there and it controls everything the wave charger as soon as you pull up on top of the charger you set the brake kneel the bus put it in neutral and open the doors it automatically starts charging so the operator doesn't have to have any concerns they can concentrate on strictly doing their job the wave system allows us to be able to run this bus all day long and not have a diesel bus anywhere in our fleet the entire electrification project is about a 50 percent cost savings so far i'm sure i can speak for everybody on staff we're really proud of this whole thing we get phone calls or we get tours just about every day of the week. And when we talk to operators, they bring up concerns about the range of the bus versus the length of their routes. We take them over and show them our wave stations and, and how minimally invasive they are, you know, the pads flush in the ground. No, it's remarkable technology. I'm still awed by it. Watching wave go from infancy to, you know, with a 50 kilowatt charger to now the 250s that we have has been a remarkable journey. If we had to do it all over again, I don't see any, any other solution than Wave. It was, it's been a great solution for us.
pretty cool, right? Now, I definitely think that this will move on from just doing transportation vehicles to doing electric vehicles, to doing Teslas, to doing Neo vehicles in the future. Something to look forward to with this company. So if we go over some of the Q3 financial highlights, um, their revenue for the three month ended September 30th was 10.6 million an increase of 2.3x compared to Q2 and 3.4x compared to Q3. They have a strong cash position. Uh, they finished the quarter, quarter with 27.6 million. The Q3 revenue were supported by strong growth in the taxi and ride sharing segment. Strategic investment into California e-tractor company Solar Track, um, which services agriculture and specialty vehicle market so in the future you know uber you know the taxis and the ride chairs eventually they're gonna lose the driver and they're i believe it's called do they call it atomic i don't know <laughs> the vehicles are going to drive themselves and if the vehicles are driving themselves they can't plug themselves into the charger. They'll need something like Wave to charge up the vehicle so you don't have to have any people involved. I know it's really trippy and reminds me of the movie Wall-E, but this is the future, guys. I mean, it's gonna save the planet. Otherwise, we're all gonna burn and blow up and be dead. <laughs> That's so depressing. Okay, so. <laughs> This company is still quite under the radar. I couldn't find any analysts on tip ranks. However, I did find one on CNN Business and he gave it a price target of $5. Um, in the short term, I believe that that price target is very possible, but in the long term, in, within the next 24 months, I am going to give this a price target of $15 to $20 as the EV sector is only gonna continue to grow. And once Wave starts getting massively distributed and starts revolutionizing the transit system and moving on to more electric forms of transportation this will be very big for the company so um, if we look at the institutional ownership there isn't that much as i said it is under the radar however we do have one company who bought 800k shares 800,000 shares on february 26. so if we look over the chart we can see at the start of January, it was $2 a share and it had a nice run up to $5.43 on February 8th. And then it came down to $3.24. So you can definitely expect some volatility with this play. It's a long-term hold for me. Yes, you could swing trade it at that five, $6 range if you'd like to, um, or just take some profits and then hold your original position long-term. This is why I always suggest averaging down with penny stocks, especially to be ready and prepared for the volatility. So if we're gonna buy 90 shares, you could buy more, you could buy less. We're gonna do 30 shares between 275 and the current price, 30 shares between $2 and $2.40, and 30 shares if it ever goes under $2. You may never see that, but it's very important to be prepared for the volatility, all right, guys? It's a long-term play. As I see in the next two to three years, this company absolutely exploding. That's just my opinion, not financial advice. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Smash that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, join the Discord, and I'll see you in the next one. Much love, guys. Take care.